Hey everyone, Tech Dad here, and today we are reviewing the Shadow PC app for iPad, which essentially turns your iPad into a fully functioning PC with no PC required. This is actually a solid solution to having a fully functioning PC on your iPad that works. So I've been using Shadow PC for gaming purposes, which is its main function as advertised. I mainly use it to play World of Warcraft on my iPad because I don't have a PC or a Mac. So I really want everything to just be on my iPad for all my use cases cases, including work and gaming. And man, does Shadow PC deliver. So in this video, I want to do a full rundown of Shadow PC and what my experience has been like with it. And also keep in mind, Shadow PC is not paying me to do this. I just really like this app and think it's really awesome. All right, let's get into it. All right, so let's talk about what Shadow PC is. So I originally stumbled on this app because I was looking for a way to play World of Warcraft on my iPad. There are a few different ways to do that, but I really like Shadow PC's solution the best, and I'll tell you why here in just a little bit. All right, so first, let's talk about about what Shadow PC is. So Shadow PC is from a company called Shadow Tech, and this company provides a PC in the cloud for you. So you don't have to purchase a PC, you just have to purchase the subscription that you want, and they provide the PC for you. They have a few different options, and here's the option that I chose, which I thought was pretty decent for just playing a game that's 20 years old. I think the specs on this PC were more than sufficient. It takes the company about 30 to 60 minutes to set up your PC, and then once it's set up, you're ready to go. All you have to do is download the app on your iPad called Shadow PC and then you can connect. And it's scary because it works exactly as advertised. You start the app, start your PC. It does take about 20 seconds or so to connect. And then there it is. It's fully functioning. You can download apps. You can do work on this PC. Obviously, you can download games. I downloaded World of Warcraft, Battle.net, of course. And also, I downloaded CurseForge so that I could get my add-ons for World of Warcraft. There are other cloud services where you can play WoW on, but you can't get CurseForge along with it, so you can't install add-ons. And what is World of Warcraft without add-ons. All right, so let's talk about how my experience has been with Shadow PC. So I've been using the app for about four months now, really enjoyed it, racked up a few characters on WoW as I've been using this application. And I'll tell you, it is the smoothest thing I have ever seen for remote desktop apps for iPad. I've used some old remote desktops in the past. The applications are terrible. Usually the connection is awful. All kinds of hardware will not work with that. But this is like having a fully functioning PC right on your iPad. It works as expected. It also works with all the hardware that I have so I can connect things like an external display and it mirrors on the display or I can use two screens at once. I can also connect a gaming mouse which is really nice for Warcraft and the games look amazing on the iPad's OLED display. It's pretty much going to beat out almost any Windows laptop you can buy as far as the screen goes. And Shadow PC is supposed to work with other gaming platforms as well so you've got to check this out if you're a gamer and you game on a PC and you want to have this gaming experience on your iPad. Okay so let's talk about some limitations. So the first limitation I noticed is that I couldn't connect external storage to my Shadow PC. At least I couldn't figure how to get it, how to register. So I can obviously connect external storage to my iPad, but when I plug it in, nothing shows up in file management. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I'll bet Shadow PC has a solution to that. I just need to dig into it a little bit more. Another thing I noticed is that if the internet connection is bad, everything can be really laggy on your PC, obviously, because you're streaming it. So I've been in the middle of a dungeon and everything starts lagging out really bad or keys stick, which is really weird. My character will just rotate round and round in a circle when the keys stick. But I found a solution to that. You can go into the settings of the app and actually turn down the resolution quality and graphics so that you're not streaming so much power. And so I turn it down to HD quality and usually that fixes it and there's no lag at all. And no sticky keys, which is really important in Warcraft. Finally, the third limitation may be the price for some folks. So my basic subscription costs $19.99 a month, which I don't think is terrible to have a PC provided for you. I mean, you would have to have the subscription for a few years before you could actually buy a PC like that. So it's not a bad deal for a guy who just owns an iPad, doesn't have a computer in the house, and wants to play video games. So I'm pretty impressed with the app. I'm going to keep using it. Let me know if if you have questions about it in the comments below, I'm happy to help answer any questions. Be sure to give this service a try if you're really looking to have this PC experience on your iPad. That's all I got for you. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.